rolling. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. So I'm just introducing myself right now. Mm -hmm. My name is Jacob Aguero, and this is how it all started. So it all started when I was hanging with my friends. We are all chilling out. I brought out the idea of going to the cemetery. They were talking, what they said was, the cemetery is filled with all these harmful spirits and how they can attach to you and harm you. I don't really believe that stuff, you know? Is it on? Mm hmm So I told this kid not to go to the cemetery. And what does he do? Goes to the cemetery. Even though everything told me not to go, I still continued on. And to see if this was real for me, I took pictures because I watched a lot of ghost shows. And that's what they do. They would take pictures to see if they spotted any orbs or anything like that. And in these pictures that I took, I saw something that I didn't expect. Yeah, I caught a couple of orbs, but I speculated they're just dust particles. But in other pictures, I saw shadows and figures, things that I can't explain. And after that, I had to get out of there. I had to get rid of this thing that got attached to me. I would always have to look behind my shoulder because I swear I hit it some footsteps, or something touched me. I immediately took off. I jumped in the car, and I went to a nearby church. I didn't know what it would do for me, but I had to track something. And as soon as I got to the church, just the presence in the air felt so much lighter, like something was lifted off of me. Look, he's haunted. He can't sleep at night. I get random calls at 4 a.m. and I answer it and no one's there. All he hears, you're next. And now I'm kind of freaked out. And I think it's, once it's latched onto him, it's going to come to me.